Hi, I'm Trev Hutchings, and this is how to fix audio and vocal latency in BandLab in five easy steps. Step one, add a latency test track. Tap on the plus icon below the bottom track. Then tap on voice audio on the pop-up menu. Now tap on the mixer settings icon at the bottom left of the screen. Then tap on the S icon on the track header to solo the track. This will mute all the other tracks for the latency test. Now tap on the mixer settings icon again at the bottom left of the screen to close the mixer settings screen. Step two, set up the metronome. Tap on the metronome icon at the bottom right of the screen to turn the metronome on. Then tap on the settings menu icon at the top of the screen. Scroll down the screen and drag the dot on the line below the words metronome volume all the way to the right this will set the metronome to the maximum volume. Now tap on the wave icon at the top of the screen to return to the audio track screen. Step three, record the metronome. Now drag your finger left on the screen to move the white vertical track marker line so it is in line with the line next to the number two on the ruler. Now unplug your headphones from your phone because we want the mic to hear the metronome. Then tap the record button at the bottom of the screen and record a few seconds of the metronome sound. Then tap on the stop icon. Step four, find the latency. Tap on the settings menu icon at the top of the screen and drag the dot on the line below the words metronome volume to the left until it says about 20% to the right of the words metronome volume. Then tap on the wave icon. Next, tap on the X icon at the top right of the screen. Now, use two fingers to pinch outwards on the screen to zoom in. Next, tap on the metronome recording. Tap on the three dots on the pop-up menu. Then tap on shift. The beeps on the recording should line up with the long lines on the ruler that is at the top of the screen. Drag the dot on the line at the bottom of the screen, left or right, to move the beeps so they line up with the lines on the ruler. Then tap on the play icon at the bottom right of the screen to hear if the bleeps on the recording and the metronome beeps play as one beep. If not, move the dot on the line again.
Once you are happy the beeps match, make a note of the number that is above the dot on the line. Mine says plus 21 milliseconds. Then tap on the tick icon. Now tap on the mixer settings icon at the bottom left of the screen. Then tap on the S icon on the track header to turn off solo. And then tap on the M icon to mute the latency track. Then tap on the mixer settings icon again. Step five, adjust your audio or vocal track. Now record your audio or vocal track. I came from the emptiness with nothing to lose. Once you've recorded your audio or vocal track, tap on the recording. Tap on the three dots on the pop-up menu and then tap on shift. Now drag the dot on the line at the bottom of the screen so the number above the dot is the same number as the number you made a note of when adjusting the recorded beeps. Mine was plus 21, so I want plus 21 here as well. Then tap on the tick icon. I came from the emptiness. Tips and tricks. If you always close all the other apps on your phone before opening BandLab, you should only need to do this once and be able to use the same number to shift all your vocal recordings in all your songs. If you've enjoyed this video, do give us a thumbs up and click on that subscribe button. Cheers.